questions. Please, re uh, just a reminder, we have a microphone in the corridor, so if you have any questions, please go there. Um, if you feel too shy, he's available here as well after the talk a little bit short chatting. Um, Kaspar. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Uh, thank you for this talk, personally, and um, all the more. Um, well, you really spoke to my heart, and uh, <laughs> you helped me quite a bit about this whole topic, and um, not from a software architecture standpoint. You know how much I admire you as a software engineer and how you can speak to these topics in a very different way than just a random use of the webcam. That being said, that last thing you said, we're losing something very precious. Can I ask a question about that? Yes, sure. So, um, I have a new boss and he's three years old. I look into a, I look into a to near future where I have to possibly explain to him what is so precious about that thing that is not really what he will be experiencing once he learns to pick up a phone. He will be confronted with native apps and with the convenience they bring and with downloading something from an app store. He's doing that already, actually. And um, so what's so precious about that thing to somebody who is that early in their lives and is just starting out with digital and using the digital world and becoming a citizen of the digital world? What is so precious about this open web thing and how can I explain that to them? That is an awesome question, I did. and I didn't expect anything less, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so I think there's two, two reasons why the open web is so precious. Let me go into the two of them separately. Um, one of them is availability of information without gatekeeping. Um, the open web was built as a way of sharing, sharing knowledge, sharing academical insights um, on a global scale. It accelerated our thinking. It accelerated humans, uh, humankind's progress. It accelerated science and all the other disciplines, just because. The, it's like what I was talking about here, the time to first buy it, how long it takes to actually respond to a request. Well, before the internet, if you had a scientific request, it took months to respond to that, and all of a sudden it took seconds. So it accelerated everything, it elevated everything. And the reason why the web is in danger is because it was so easy to share information about creating something that can endanger the web. So the web even helped accelerate that uh, as well. Um, the, other, uh, the other point, the second point is the non-conformity and diversity of the open web in its thinking. So not only is it so that uh, the information is freely accessible, it is also that every opinion can be part of that open web. And um, we're losing a lot of that right now because of um, the way native apps work, uh, because of how they technologically work. If you have something like a Twitter feed, uh, it goes through a filter first where there's already ideas being discarded. Whether it is good or bad that, that these ideas are discarded, that is debatable. But that these ideas are discarded without people even thinking about that fact, without thinking about censorship, um, that is problematic. And um, it is also, uh, after this filtering, there is this algorithm, it's, it's called the algorithm, well it's much more than that, but usually people call it the algorithm, that tailors the content to you. And basically you only read about ideas that you already bought into you're getting confirmation for your ideas and nothing else. So it hinders you to learn about new ideas and it might confirm the wrong ideas for you. Um, so this, um, the open web, it is unfiltered, it is raw, and that is its power, and 
being able to share something without censorship, it can present a danger as well, but it is not a danger that is self-accelerating. The opposite of it, of it is censorship, filtering, echo chambers, that is self-accelerating. It gets worse, and then, then it gets worse quicker. Uh, and that doesn't happen with you. I think these two separate ideas so the availability of the information and the quality of the inter information, that is what makes the open web so precious. And no, no controlled environment of whatever form, from, from a corporate entity, from a governmental entity, uh, can be a replacement for it, because it will always fall into these filtering and gatekeeping steps. Thank you for the question. Another question?